Welcome to the Marvelous Designer 2025.0 version new feature videos. In the 2025 version, the first strand type has been added to the material of fabric. First strand can be used not only for fabric, but also for piping and binding using fabric. First strand is displayed both in the 3D window and in the quality render. First strand can be exported in USD format, allowing us to edit in other 3D softwares. Select Include First Strand Data. Export strand data with the USD. So, let's take a look at the First Strand features. The menu for First Strand can be found in three different locations. First, you can set the material type to First Strand in the fabric properties, then configure the fur preset and child properties. The shape of the first strand can be set to one of three options, cylinder, plane, and line, by going to main menu, settings, preferences, 3D, first strand shape. Cylinder. Display fur in a cylinder shape with thickness and width. It is useful when checking the full structure of the first strand. Plane. Display fur in a plane shape without thickness but with width. Line. Display fur in spline curves without thickness or width. Please note that the simulation speed may be significantly slower when the first strand display is enabled, as it requires calculation in the 3D window. To improve performance, you can disable show first strand in the garment rendering options under the 3D display icons. It is recommended to enable this option only when necessary. If you want to see each first strand in a random color, please turn on random first strand color. In addition, when recording or playing animations, it is recommended to turn off show first strand, as simulation speed may decrease if it is enabled. The animations of the first strand is not record at the time of animation's record. It is play by calculating the placement value of the first strand for each frame at the time of play. So let's apply first strand to the fabric. In the object browser, select the fabric to which you want to apply the first strand. In the property editor, set material type to first strand. Once selected, the first strand will be displayed in the 3D window, and the first strand properties will appear in the property editor. You can also select a fur preset in advance, which includes multiple predefined fur shapes. Let's take a look at some of the parameters associated with first strand. Fur parameters. Melanin configure saturation of the fur's original color. Higher the melanin value is, saturated the color is. On the other hand, lower the value is, light the color is. Pheomelanin configure how reddish the fur is. Higher the pheomelanin value is, redder the fur is. Pheomelanin value is applied in proportion to melanin value. Pheomelanin value is not counted when the melanin value is zero. Glossiness configure shininess of the fur. When the light is applied to the fur, shinier it is with a higher value. Softness express smoothness of the fur. Higher the softness value is, smoother the fur is. On the other hand, the lower the value is, rougher the fur is. Fur gradation color. Apply gradient color to the middle and end of the fur. When you enable the fur gradation color option, related menus will appear at the bottom. With this feature, you can set a gradient for the middle and end colors of the fur. Mid color is the middle color of fur. Tip color is the end color of fur. You can adjust the scaling of the gradient area by modifying the mid position, which controls the start position of the middle color. Similarly, you can adjust the scaling of the end color area by modifying the tip position, which controls the start position of the end color. When interpolation is enabled, the boundaries between the root, middle, and tip colors will blend smoothly for a more natural appearance. Fur shape. The fur shape preferences allow you to define the detailed shape of the fur. Base. First, let's take a look at the base properties. Length controls the length of the fur. Higher the value is, longer the fur is. Thickness configure the thickness of a single thread of the fur. Higher the value is, thicker the fur is. Bend configure the bending strength of the fur. 
higher the value is, more affected by the gravity and bends more. Taper differentiate the thickness of the fur between its root and the end. Higher the value is, thinner the fur becomes toward the end. On the other hand, lower the value is, similar the thickness is between the root and the end. Density configure how fur are closely placed. Higher the value is, more dense the fur is. On the other hand, lower the value is, more scattered the fur is. Segments configure how many sections a single thread of fur is divided into. When the fur is long and has higher bending value, the fur must have higher segments value to express the bending smoothly and realistically. However, for the short and straight fur, the segments value is not as significant. Maps. Use base maps to express different length, thickness, and density within a single pattern. Zero is multiplied to the length, thickness, and density values when a map is black. On the other hand, one is multiplied to the length, thickness, and density value when a map is white. P cluster. You can easily generate the realistic fur cluster by controlling the length and bend direction. If you click the cluster of fur shape, maps in the fur properties, the fur cluster generator windows will appear. In this window, you can easily create a realistic fur cluster using the length map, which adjusts the length of the fur, and the bend direction map, which controls the bend direction of the fur. Under the properties section for the length map, adjust the detailed settings to match the desired length of the fur. First, you can adjust the cropping map to apply different fur lengths within a single pattern. Since I am not using a separate cropping map now, the details options are disabled. To load images for texture map uses, click the load file icon. Once the image are loaded, it will be merged into the basic grayscale maps, and the other preferences will be activated. The cropping map is a grayscale-based image, where the brightness or transparency represents the length of the fur. Translucent and black areas represent the shortest length, while opaque and white areas represent the longest length. The map level menus allow you to adjust the intensity of the applied cropping map. The adjustable value is reflected directly in the map preview image. The low high length menu adjusts the brightness of the applied cropping map to control the length of the shortest and longest strands separately. You can adjust the scaling of the applied texture using the transformation menu. Now, let's explore the trimming menu. Set the intensity menu to a higher value. To increase the difference in the length of the fur from the edge to the center, resulting in a more pronounced base length effect. Let's adjust the bend direction map to control the bend direction of the fur. In properties, you can adjust the bending intensity of the fur's direction by modifying the intensity value in the cluster submenu. Higher intensity strengthens the fur clumps, giving them a more pronounced three-dimensional appearance. The pores density menu adjusts the density of the fur cluster. Higher values make the clumps smaller and denser, while lower values result in larger and wider clumps. The direction intensity random function allow you to control whether the fur's bend direction remains consistent or becomes more irregular. You can also use the detail cluster menu to adjust the clumping of smaller subunits within the bend direction map. In the detail cluster menus, adjust the aggregation strength of the detail clusters while maintaining the fur's bending preferences from the available options. Relax value can be adjusted higher to soften the boundaries of the fur clumps, giving them a smoother appearance. To compare the effect of applying the cropping map, you can check the area where the fur texture is not applied and confirm the difference between applying and not applying the cropping map. Length. Applied according to the value set by the fur cluster generator. Bend direction. Applied according to the value set by the fur cluster generator. Gravity force. Adjust the strength of gravity. Vector x. Manually adjust the gravity value along the x-axis. Vector y. Manually adjust the gravity value along the y-axis. Vector z. Manually adjust the gravity value along the z-axis. Curl. 
Radius controls the curl radius of the fur. Higher values result in greater twisting of the fur. Lower values make the fur thinner and less twisted. Number controls the number of waves in the fur. The higher the value, the more twisted fur. Lower value result in less twisted fur. Variance. Length. The length of the fur can be expressed irregularly or uniformly. Higher values make the length of the fur more irregular, while lower values result in a uniform length. Thickness. The thickness of the fur can be expressed irregularly or uniformly. Higher values cause the fur to be more irregular in thickness, while lower values result in a uniform thickness. Direction. The bend direction of the fur can be expressed irregularly or uniformly. Higher values cause the fur to bend in more varied directions, while lower values make the rotation more constant. Gravity. The gravity applied to the fur can be expressed irregularly or uniformly. Higher values apply more gravity, while lower values apply less gravity. Gravity requires a bend value greater than zero to take effect. Curl radius. Controls the degree of curl in the fur, expressed either irregularly or uniformly. Randomization. Seed. You can use the parameters of same fur to get the results you random.